How'd you get in here, Gracie? Thanks for remembering my name. Ah, don't mention it, Gracie. Stop calling me that. Hmm? Say, what are you trying to pull? What do you mean, Gracie? Uh, Grace. You know what I mean. That runaround you've been giving me, that's what I mean. You and Harris's wife, that's what I mean. Oh, is that what you mean? <laughs> you talk as if we were married. Oh, well, we're going to be. And tomorrow's as good a time as any. Tomorrow? Say, that's dandy. Tomorrow, huh? Well, why not? You got as much chance of marrying me tomorrow as today. That's no chance at all, because, uh, guess what? I'm already married. You're a liar. You think so? Well, the next time you're in Chicago, you go to 46 Eagle Street. And if you don't find Mrs. Michael Kelly there, I'll marry you any day, you say. I ain't kidding. I'm not kidding you. You've been taking me for sucker all this time. Honey, you never asked me if I was married. Anyway, what's the difference? You did all right with me. I'm gonna hock the Harris up to my ears. Where are you going? Out. I got a date with a lady. You know what a lady is? Nah, how could you? You know anything about sculpting? You know anything about the opera? Nah, all you know is how to spend money, huh? Well, so long, Gracie. I gotta be going. I'm going with you. You're not gonna shake me now. Yes, I am. You dumped me once. Now I'm dumping you. For good. You better promote yourself another meal ticket. Oh, no, Mitch. Maybe it was that way in the beginning, but not now. Not anymore. It's the first time in my life. Please, Mitch, I'll do anything. Why don't you call up Johnny Dunn? All right, big shot. Try it. I'll make the biggest stink that's ever smelled in this town. I will... Oh, no. You're gonna be a good little girl. Because if you aren't, I'll put you in the hospital for a long, long time. I gotta change now. Don't be here when I come out. <laughs> 